air bond fraction of the carbon which can be dealt for example let us suppose fossil fuel and cement clean contribute 6.3 gigatons per year which are like some of the anthropogenic activities then we have land use which contributes 2.2 gigatons of carbon per year then we have ocean which removes some 2.5 gigatons of carbon per year now we would like to calculate the airborne fraction of this thing like these activities or what is the outcome so we can simply calculate that what we have in the formula that carbon content in the atmosphere by total carbon by anthropogenic emission so if we see that how much carbon by total anthropogenic emission so if you see the total anthropogenic emission is 8.5 gigatons of carbon we will add all these activity like 6.3 gigatons of carbon per year by fossil fuel and carbon cleans and then land use which is there which cut down some 2.2 so the total will be 8.5 and if you talk about the if you talk about if you talk about if you talk about like uh, the other thing which is is some 3.8 gigaton of carbon which comes out to be the fraction which is there in the atmosphere so we have to deal with like influx minus outflux so 8.5 minus 4.7 which comes from land vegetation removes while ocean removes so it comes out to be 3.8 that will be the sum of influx which is fossil fuel and cement clean and land use which is 8.5 minus outflux which was like land vegetation removes 2.2 and ocean removes 2.5 so 4.7 so it comes out to be 8.5 minus 4.7 which is 3.8 so now with the help of formula we can directly calculate the airborne fraction that carbon content in the atmosphere which will be 3.8 divided by the total carbon by anthropogenic emission which is 8.5 so this quantity comes out to be 44 percent or 0.4 4 which is the airborne fraction of carbon this is a very important question and i have been asked two three times in ugc so sometimes they also ask a logical question that on deforestation what would happen to the airborne fraction so on deforestation airborne fraction would increase due to less recycling back of atmospheric carbon into the land and vegetation so remember this on deforestation the airborne fraction would increase due to less recycling back of atmospheric carbon into the land vegetation means the process which was responsible for the outflux will goes down now we will be talking about something about ozone chemistry which will be the next part of our lecture and hope you understand what we have been taught in this part till this airborne fraction we will be covering the ozone and ozone chemistry ozone hole in 